Go ahead. Oh, hey, this is John from uh, MK1615 Evangelism, and uh, we are out here this morning. We're going to be teaching a, an evangelism class, the Way of the Master Evangelism class at Coral Ridge, and, and I'm just putting some signs together right now to kind of let the people know where the class is going to be held and, and everything. So uh, we're looking to forward to a great day of equipping people to go out there and share their faith. <laughs> just live it. Mm -hmm. Hey, it was here, Colette, and uh, what, what are you doing here? Okay, good morning, everybody. I'm here doing registration, um, getting everybody set up to go into the class. We have about 36 people um, that are registering so far. Um, all you will see here, we have all the different tracks because we give them tracks. We give them a packet with a workbook and all the information that they need that they're going to be using in the class. Um, of course, they have their, their name tags and pens as they go in there equipped to do the class. Um, what's so exciting is that we had a gentleman that said he saw our evangelism um, signs that we put out on the streets, all the way showing them how to get into the church. And he was just passing on his way to doing a job, and he said he wanted to come in and take the class. So I found that really exciting, praise God. We welcome anybody, of course, because it's all about... Uh, you know, getting people equipped, Christians, to go out there and be able to effectively and biblically share their faith. So, praise God, and we're about to class, uh, start the class now, so, it's okay. Hi, welcome okay. everybody. You see Colette Hi. is uh, registering people Thank right now for our class. Asking. What's your name? Let me get the names. Tanya Nguyen. Tanya, at the bottom. Right here? Right. Okay, and Fian, Pastor Fian. Pastor Fian, how are you? Okay, and um, this, I don't, I don't want to pronounce it. Stand up, what's your guys' names, and uh, you, you can go first. Why are you here, and uh, what do you hope to accomplish out of this class? My name is Anna, and um, I'm here because I, I really feel in my heart that I'm called to talk to people and share my faith. Mm -hmm. And I want to overcome, you know, the fear and yeah. get more used to it. I hear you. Um, I've done it very few times, okay. but I feel like it should be, like she said, like more often. Gotcha. You know? Okay. You. Husband. Your husband? Okay, yeah. great. What's your Basically name? what she said. I'm Dorian. <laughs> uh, Dorian. Okay. <laughs> Dorian, nice to meet you. But yeah, I also find it hard to, to start up a conversation with people, you know, mm. and uh, I want to be more equipped to be able to do that. And, and also... Um, I mean, I, when I share the gospel with, uh, let's say, friends at work or everything, you know, yeah. they always seem to be a step ahead, you know. It's yeah. like uh, they always have something smarter to say, you know. <laughs> so you're like, you know, the gospel is simple, but I hear uh, you. <laughs> All right, that's it's great. frustrating. Okay, well, we're going to teach you guys. Okay. My name is John, and I will be your instructor for this class today. Um, I'm so excited. Uh, actually, our team is so excited that you guys have decided to come out here and to take this evangelism class. I'm going to show two quick videos. And the purpose that what we're, we're accomplishing here today is two things. We are going to teach you why it is important as Christians to share our faith. And number two is how to share our faith. Understand that the reason why we use the Ten Commandments is to show people that they have a disease. That disease is sin. If you notice, a lot of people will tell you, well, I know I'm going to heaven because I'm a good person, or I'm going to heaven because I know that God is forgiving. So what happened? And it's their lack of understanding of understanding what the Bible says about God's um, uh, judgment on sin, okay, and what his forgiveness is. What happens is, is that, remember the song, Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound, I was once lost, but now I'm found, I'm, I was once blind, but now I see. If a sinner doesn't understand that he's lost, that he's violated God's law, the Ten Commandments, then he'll never want to come to the cross and say, God, I need you to save me, and he can never be found. So in order for them to be found, they have to understand that they're lost. And that's why we take them through the commandments. You don't have to take them through all the commandments, but if you can remember the first five, which is, uh, and this is not in order, but thou shalt not lie, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not take the Lord thy God's name in vain, um, 
um, thou shalt not commit adultery. And then I always like to throw in the one, thou shalt not commit murder. Because sometimes, well, I've never murdered anybody. I say, well, have you ever got angry at somebody? Jesus said, whoever gets angry or hates another person, you're a murderer in your heart. So we want to show them the commandments. Also, about the class I thought it was excellent and uh, I'm glad I came yeah did you uh, what, what what would you what did you really learn in there would you think uh, let's that you didn't know before right uh, people who are resistant uh, convicting them of sin uh, sharing asking them if they've uh, you know have they ever lied using the Ten Commandments mm -hmm. to uh, convict them of their own guilt do you feel that uh, after this class you feel more confident now to be able to go out there and answer those challenging questions that people may ask? Sure, definitely. Okay, good. So you're going to go out there and now apply that? Right now. And that's what I like about it, uh, the real world uh, part of it. Okay. It's not just classroom. Would you recommend this class to somebody else? Definitely. And I've invited somebody already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks, man. I appreciate that, Robert. God bless you. Okay.